In the pre-dawn darkness at Cape Canaveral, fuel is piped aboard the Redstone rocket that will carry Captain Virgil Grissom aloft in the second act of the drama that the U.S. hopes will put a man on the moon. The captain, the country's second spaceman, arrives at the launching pad to go aboard the Mercury capsule just about four hours before the scheduled launch. There's a hurried pace to preparations for the flight that was twice postponed. The cameras record drama at its highest as he goes aboard the capsule to follow in the footsteps of Commander Alan Shepard, Jr., the first U.S. man into space. It's 8.20 in the morning, everything in readiness. controls the flight of his capsule, as did Commander Shepard, something the Russian astronaut did not do. His flight carries him 118 miles aloft and 303 miles downrange. During the 16-minute flight, he hits a top speed of 5,280 miles an hour. From the carrier Randolph, helicopters take off to pick up astronaut and capsule. As he prepared to leave the Mercury, explosive bolts let go and blow the escape hatch cover. Grissom has to swim clear of the whirling blades so that another helicopter can pick him up as the first craft tries vainly to save the water-filled capsule. As Grissom is swung to safety, the Mercury has to be cut loose to rest on the bottom of the sea three miles down. A salute to Captain Grissom our new space hero.